would say for the last six or seven years, uh, we've had the best students uh, perform in the ensemble. My name is Paul De Castro, and I direct the Cal State LA Afro Latin Ensemble. I'm Cynthia Rosemary Flores, and I direct the mariachi here at Cal State LA. I got very emotional because I looked at the stage and I saw all these wonderful, emerging, incredible musicians up on that stage, and I thought that I was just so proud of them and the the role that I had in getting them there to be up on that stage performing to that caliber. My name is Susanna Rivas. My name is Tony Sousa. I'm Jose Flores. My name is Stacy Lopez. Mi nombre es Gaston Alzate. My name is Julio Carrillo. I play the viola. I am the singer for the Afro Latin Music Ensemble. I've been singing I figured, for five, four years. I, I've lost count. <laughs> Latin music has always been very emotional, very lively. You can put so much into it and get carried away as a vocalist. It's so much fun. Where else can I sing and dance at the same time? Like, I love it. I'm bouncing around on stage, so much energy. I can come into rehearsal, horrible, horrible day, have a, the worst day ever, and leave like amazingly happy. I've been a fan of the music probably since I was in high school, like my senior year in high school, and I uh, just have grown to love it. My passion for it just grows more and more. I've been singing since I was about 12 years old, uh, different uh, styles of music, and I've been singing Afro-Latin music for about five years now. I've been playing mariachi for about 10 years since I was in elementary, and I started playing guitar, and then they moved me to vihuela, and then I switched to guitar, and so now I play all three harmonia instruments in the mariachi. And I just have a passion for it that every time I hear it, it's like my heart starts beating fast, and I, don't know, I just feel happy inside. Like it's my grandparents' roots, and they love the music, so it, it make, I make them feel happy. Started in eighth grade. I actually got the class by accident. I thought I was gonna learn to play rock, and um, because it was a, a guitar class, and um, it ended up being my action. I just I liked it and I, I stood. I don't I don't think it's only a, a genre of music. I think it's a lot more. It's a lifestyle for many people. It's culture. I don't know where I'd be without it. <laughs> um, I plan to play mariachi for the rest of my life. I really do. I'm here at school because I want to get a music degree. But aside from getting a career, I want to I wanna have this for my, for my own personal, just for, just for myself. I started playing a stand-up bass. That actually opened a lot of doors for me. My former uh, teacher, he he was teaching at Southeast High School, and there I started playing mariachi as a guitarron player. He he introduced me to mariachi, actually. I've gone back to the community and helped them do mariachi at, at that school. I'm from Colombia, but of course, my specialty is Mexico. So, let's say that I'm a Colombian Mexican, because I've been working for many years investigando en México y he vivido también en México. En Colombia hay una tradición muy fuerte de mariachi y en general de la música mexicana que bien, llegó a Colombia en los años 30 con la época de la, del, del cine de oro mexicano. Para mí significa una música fundamentalmente de la tierra, es decir, una música que expresa el sentimiento en bruto. Creo que eso es lo más característico, porque a mí también me gusta, por ejemplo, la salsa o otro tipo de música folclórica, pero yo siento que el mariachi es una música de la pasión, es como una música muy dramática que logra simbolizar eh, sentimientos tan humanos como el despecho, el amor, eh, la añoranza, la melancolía, pero de una manera muy terrenal, me parece, eso es para mí la verdad. I've been playing mariachi music since, I believe, 1983. Started with a student group at, a, at another university, and within 10 weeks was playing professionally. Um, I was speaking with one of the girls who sang tonight, Erica Rodriguez. And when we walked off stage, she said, do you remember the first day of the class? And I was sitting in the room all by myself, and she came in, and I had known her from before because she had been playing mariachi. And we waited and waited, and by the end of the day, only four people showed up. 
I was like, oh, they're going to cancel this class. The um, music department really supported us and really wanted to have this program, so they didn't cancel the class with eight students. Invited guests from previous classes came to play with us. They supported for this particular event because they just saw this as a... Um, they're so attached to the mariachi. It has, it's more than just a class, it's more than just an ensemble. It's, it's really um, something that they put their heart and soul in and really feel attached to the family of the mariachi and the people and the group and, the, and the, the whole institution of having the mariachi here on campus is very important to many of the people who are in the, in the class. I've been at Cal State LA for 13 years now and all in the music department and the ensemble has been together probably about 10 years. For the last six years we had the best students, international students from Taiwan, China, Croatia, Japan, Puerto Rico. So it's really exciting to see that this music is interesting for many students, not only the Latinos, but Anglo students and international students. I was always interested in the music since my teens, and I was interested, I never really studied it, until um, I found that that's a way that a pianist can make a living. So, um, when I was doing my doctoral degree at the University of Texas, you know, on the side I was playing in groups and I started to listen more and study the music. I hope that in the future we'll have um, more ensembles. We have really only two. Uh, the one that played tonight, which is the Afro Latin Ensemble, and we have then a small combo uh, that Robert Fernandez directs. But I hope that in the future we can have two large ensembles. We had two violinists today, and I would like to have, you know, maybe four, and maybe a viola player, a cello player, and, uh, and attract, you know, more students into this type of music. It's this kind of music that's all very improvised the majority of the time, so you have to be able to just let go and I guess go with the flow. So the best advice I could give with this kind of music this kind of program is just enjoy it. The program here at Cal State LA is phenomenal. Um, through the program we study the history, uh, the culture, the music, even if you don't have experience in it, you you know this is kind of like a gateway to uh, explore and get to know more about uh, various rich cultures. For the professor at school, she's wonderful. Like she. It's great. It's hard at first to learn it, but once you get like the rhythm and once you get used to it, it's really easy to pick up if you're really like if you have a passion for it. I think my professor Cindy Rafer is awesome. She makes it work, and um, and it's hard. I think it's hard. I think it really is hard for her because of, because of different levels of, of of musicians that there is in the class. She's really great. Um, I have I have nothing bad to say about her. She's really good.